The World Wide Universities Network is an alliance of 23 research-intensive universities. One provides financial and infrastructural support to member universities to foster international research collaboration and facilitate academic mobility. Founded in 2000, the World Wide Universities Network is a non-profit group of 23 research universities from Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, Ghana, Kenya, Ireland, Mexico, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, South Africa, United Kingdom and United States. The current members are University of Alberta University of Auckland University of Bergen University of Bristol University of Cape Town University College Dublin University of Ghana Chinese University of Hong Kong University of Leeds Maastricht University University of Massachusetts Amherst University of Nairobi National Cheng Kung University Renmin University of China University of Rochester University of Sheffield University of Southampton University of Sydney Tecnológico de Monterrey Universidade Federal de Minas Gerais University of Western Australia University of York Zhejiang Universitive Network is funded principally by its member universities, who each pay an annual subscription fee. Topic Structure One is managed by a secretariat, which is responsible for the operations, communications and strategy implementation of the network. Partnership Board The Partnership Board provides entrepreneurial leadership of the company. The board sets the strategic direction and vision of the company. The board comprises the presidents, vice-chancellors or rectors of the member universities and the one executive director. Chair, Professor Dr. Martin Paul, President, Maastricht University Board members Professor Ebenezer Oduro Awusu, Vice-Chancellor, University of Ghana Professor Cohen Lambitz, Vice Chancellor, University of Sheffield. Professor Peter Lenny, One Executive Director. Professor Dawn Freshwater, Vice Chancellor, University of Western Australia. Professor Saul Tendler, Acting Vice Chancellor, University of York. Sir Alan Langlands, Vice Chancellor, University of Leeds. Professor Wu Xiaohui, President, Zhejiang University. Professor Rocky Tuan, Vice Chancellor, The Chinese University of Hong Kong. Professor Stuart McCutcheon, Vice Chancellor, University of Auckland. Sir Christopher Snowden, Vice Chancellor, University of Southampton. Professor Dag Rune Olsen, Rector, University of Bergen. Professor Dr. Martin Paul, President, Maastricht University. Dr. David Turpin, President, University of Alberta. President Joel Seligman, President, University of Rochester. Dr. Michael Spence, Vice-Chancellor, University of Sydney Chancellor Kumbal R. Subhaswamy, Chancellor, University of Massachusetts Amherst Professor Marmok Gethi Fakeng, Vice-Chancellor, University of Cape Town 
Professor Hugh R. Brady, Vice Chancellor, University of Bristol. Dr. David Garza, Rector, Tecnologico de Monterey. Professor Huey Jen Jenny Su, President, National Cheng Kung University. Professor Sandra Almeida, President, Universidade Federal de Minas Gerais. Professor Andrew Deeks, President, University College Dublin. Professor Liu Wei, President, Renmin University of China. Professor Peter Mbethi, Vice Chancellor, University of Nairobi Academic Advisory Group. The Academic Advisory Group is responsible for overseeing the academic portfolio of the network and advising the Partnership Board on strategic direction. It is made up senior administrators, usually at the level of Vice President or Deputy Vice Chancellor with responsibility for the research or internationalization priorities of the member universities. Institutional coordinators Each one member university appoints an administrator to manage the implementation of the one strategies and programs on campus and to serve as the main contact point for network initiatives. This group shares information on collaborative opportunities and develops WUN's research programs. Topic. Global challenges One has identified four global challenges as the focus for its thematic research areas. There are numerous research groups within each global challenge. They are topic. Responding to climate change The Responding to Climate Change Global Challenge encapsulates a number of research projects that address scientific, cultural, health and social issues relating to climate change. Broad themes of the research include Drivers and pressures of climate change States of and impacts on systems affected by climate change Managing a response to climate change. Topic: Public health and non-communicable disease. The public health and non-communicable disease global challenge emphasizes a life course approach to opportunities for addressing non-communicable diseases, especially in low- and middle-income countries and transitioning populations, as well as developed societies where there are social disparities in risk. There is a particular focus on health of family and migrants across the life course. Resilience of adolescents in different cultural contexts Schools as a setting for reducing risk factors associated with NCDs <laughs> Understanding cultures The Understanding Cultures Global Challenge focuses on how globalization trends are challenging national, regional and individual cultural practices. These trends include a more integrated transnational economic system, the rise of global communications networks, increasing levels of population mobility, the advent of international consumer brands and widening social inequalities. There is a particular focus on Global migration and population Generations in global context Chinese culture in the world <laughs> Global higher education and research 
The Global Higher Education and Research Global Challenge addresses the sources, mechanisms and social structures that give rise to higher education challenges, and proposes reform policies for international research and education. There is a particular focus on issues of access and equity of higher education. <laughs> 